I'm working on the market basket beanie and I just completed round three. So there's my first round of single crochet, my round of the double crochets, and here's my round where I did post stitches. So two front, two back, two front, two back. And now I'm ready to start round four. And so I'm basically going to do the same thing that I did in round three. I'm going to chain two and then do a front around the front post stitch and another and then do back post stitches around the back post stitches of the previous row and I will just continue this all the way around so when I get done with round four I'll be back so I just finished round four and I'm about to join to the first stitch and just want to remind you that I did start with a chain two but we're not counting that as a stitch so I skip that when I join and I join into that uh, post stitch and then something crazy happens at the end of round four they I want you to do an extra slip stitch so you go one more slip stitch over this is going to put you in the right spot when you turn so that you'll start getting a basket pattern so now I'm ready for round five and I'm chaining two and I'm turning. That's the other thing that's kind of tricky about this pattern is you really have to notice at the end of each round whether you turn or not. So at the end of round four, we turned and here we are to start round five. I've already got my chain two done and the instructions say to do two front post double crochets around the first stitch. So two of them see if I can get going here. One, two. Because what we're doing in this round is we're, we're adding some stitches, we're increasing. And then just one front post stitch around there. So now where there were two stitches, we've got three. And next we're going to do two back post stitches around this one. There's one, there's two, and the next stitch we're just doing one. And now we're going to switch back to front post stitches. And we're doing two, around that stitch, and then one around the next. And now we're doing back post. This is what's going to make it start looking like a basket when we do the back post stitches around what looks like front post stitches. So let's stop and look and see what's going on here. So this is round five that we've started and you can start to see the basket idea taking shape because these stitches are sticking up and these are and these are and these are and those are to the back so it's starting to look a little baskety. I'm gonna go ahead and finish round five and meet you at the end. So here I am at the end of round five and I'm about to make my joining stitch. I'm skipping that chain two that's kind of buried way back there now and I'm joining into my first stitch. And you can see that it is starting to look a little bit like the basket woven look. And notice at the end of round five, it says in bold print, do not turn. So what we'll do is continue, we're chaining two. And now you're gonna do a front post stitch around these three front posts. And then you'll do back post stitches around these three back. So it's kind of an easy round. And you'll see uh, round seven is the same thing. And at the end of round seven, you will turn. And when you turn, you'll be in the right spot automatically to continue doing your post stitches in the same pattern. And that really goes that way all the way until you get to round 20 and that's when you start working on the brim so hopefully this helped you a little bit get going and i'm always here if you need me